Hello everyone, my name is Tamás Dietrich. I'm an artistic director of the Stuttgart Ballet and I'm very excited to be a part of World Ballet Day. We are here in Stuttgart at the moment uh, preparing uh, for John Cranko's Romeo and Juliet that we will take on tour next week to Kaohsiung, Taiwan. But as you are watching, this is a recorded rehearsal because we are actually landing in Kaohsiung at this very moment while you are watching. So if it's morning, day or night, maybe in Australia, we are on a plane flying to our Asian tour, which starts in Kaohsiung and then continues to Beijing, where we are celebrating 60 years of the National Ballet of China. Kevin O here. Thank you so much for having us as your guest company this season. It's my second season as artistic director and our second time taking part in this wonderful international celebration of dance. I would like to introduce our dancers that are going to be dancing the first act, excerpts of Romeo and Juliet, starting with the pas de trois. Okay, so we're about to begin. Andrea Hall may I introduce our lovely ballet mistress, first ballet mistress of the Stuttgart Ballet, principal ballet mistress and a dear friend. Welcome to World Ballet Day. Okay, yes. dancers, come here, please. Our Juliet, Elisa Badenes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Romeo, Friedman Fogel, I don't think I need to introduce. And they're dancing for the first time together in Romeo and Juliet. It's a premiere for all of you. They haven't rehearsed the balcony partitor yet. Okay, well, it's time to rehearse. Adonai Suarez Mercutio from Brazil. Say hello in Brazilian. <laughs> bon dia. <laughs> Marti Paisha from Spain. He's our Paris for today. And we have Matteo Micini. Sounds Italian. You are Italian. Ciao tutti. Ciao tutti. <laughs> our Benvolio for today. And most important, always important, is our pianist, uh, Cataline Smith. She will be playing the rehearsal. I'd like to start with the pas de trois. Okay, so, so guys, when we start, we have the first position, right? Like this. Mercutio, I, I, I think we all look at the conductor or look at Cataline, who will give the upbeat. Okay? Well, Cataline, watch me, I'll give the upbeat, and then we'll start. Yeah? Ready, guys? And. <laughs> not by the chess, yeah? And once you finish the tour, you can relate really to each other, you know? You're there, not, not out there, but it, it's like we're alone, we're having fun together. Double rond de jambe, pas de beret, yeah? Really, on the arc, that. Good. Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, let's pick it up uh, just before Mercutio's little solo.
double tour to the knee. Careful, don't go, be here, but be up. It's grand, here. And then small, small, bigger, bigger. I dare, is anyone watching? All the people left from going to the ball. So you look, you look, you look, you turn, we're alone. Let's have some fun, yeah? Good, all right, Andrea? Uh, just keep the spacing when you're coming forward. Yeah. Really keep the spacing, because yeah. Friedman, you tend to get a little bit too far over to Adonai. That's right. So stay right in the middle. Ro Romeo yeah. is always right. <laughs> 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 Adjust, especially the beginning. Yeah. Good. Very good. I think uh, the, this step here, use more side, 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 the arms, relax a bit more. That. This is, this is Mercutio's style. He's, he's send, doing that. You're, that's right. He's sending you up, actually. Yeah? You could do a bit more there, mm -hmm. actually. Do more. Do more. Yeah. yeah. And really then don't forget the, the head. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that's yeah. it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. But it really helps also up. And don't change anything. Mm. <sighs> Beautiful. Very nice. Not too high. OK. Good. All right, I would like to continue. This is going on after going to the ball. We're in the ball. And then Juliet has just met Paris. And they have a pas de deux, right? So maybe we can lead into the pas de deux. It's the end of the first dance at the ball, please. position and one. Beautiful. Uh, I, I would say, Andrew, the arms are just a little bit high on yeah. the pirouette. I know his yes. partner, but just this is so beautiful to keep this open. And then a little bit pure. longer. Don't get the arms out too soon. Yeah. What I really like is, is, is that it just continues. Mm -hmm. And this, it's like porcelain, the steps. It's so quiet. And you just imagine it's your first time ever in the ball, and, and everyone's there. And it's a very mesmerizing moment. It's like one would like to take the lights down you feel all alone. V very good. Uh, <laughs> Marty, uh, double rond de jambe. It, it's not a double ballonet. Ron, even articulate the second one more. <laughs> one, one, that's right. Nothing behind, just front, front. Yes, good. OK, a little bit before, please. <laughs>
gorgeous. Don't be good. Think of the knee to the side of the coup de pied. Let's just continue. Just take your places, guys. Benvolio Romeo. It's very good. Take your time. like to dance? No. <laughs> but for Romeo. Very nice. Lots of berets. Da -da 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 -da. Good girl. like the first time. I know it is actually the first time <laughs> between uh, your connection. It was lovely. There, there's a moment when Romeo first sees you and he has his mask on, which we, we just had before. And it's the first time you see each other in the eyes. And that, then it continues into the next scene, which we just did uh, with Juliet's variation. And you just have to imagine the whole court around there. And who, who is this person? And what I love the moment, uh, Friedemann, when, when you stopped, it wasn't too close. So it was just, without knowing the hands, they just, just like, and then it went further. It's, it's very good. Um, Marty, uh, it, it's wonderful, but it's, it's not a competition how slow I can bring her down. No, it, it's really beautiful. I, 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 ju I just say, st you know, a, 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 a note can last forever. But then it's over. Yum, bum, bum, yum, bum, bum. You know, so, so finish it because if, if someone doesn't know ballet and they're the first time, you know, you, you connect music and, and, and visualness, I mean, Balanchine, 
was mu literally the music. You would, you, you would see it. And it's in this, this choreography of Krankos as well. And just, I always say there's a border, a frame. And I think an artist is allowed to go outside, but just to a certain point. Yeah? No, that's right. It was very nice. Um, Andrea. Yeah, just two things once in Parada now, when you're going back and he takes you back, be careful you don't take your arms behind for the tongue of yeah. going back. But, but the other thing I saw there too is, is you, you broke here instead of just, just, just being like, yeah. just, just, just see him for a moment. Yeah. And, and that's this, it. And, and that, that's, that's the transition. That's right, yeah, That's it, exactly. Yeah. So that's you never right. take it behind. Yeah. yeah. And in the variation, in the variation, the same thing. When you go into the soda basque, don't take from the force behind. Just keep it within your mm -hmm. acid. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, that's right. I don't yeah. think her favorite position was second arabesque. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's not quite there, think the epaulement. Yes. Because this, 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 this gives you the epaulement. It's so beautiful, darling. Yes, that's right. Also, in the pas de deux, you come down as you promenade. Just keep it alive that it's not like a still moment. OK, so there was a lot of distraction right now with Romeo and Juliet. And then there's, of course, Marcuccio. So I'd like to do your solo in the ball, Adonai. OK, have you rehearsed this once? You have. OK, so let's continue, per se in this scene at the ball with Marcuccio about to do his solo. Yeah? Benvolio, you ready? Okay. And wah! And shot! Will be bum ba bum. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Catchline. Very good, Adonai. I, I think it's a bit comfortable for you. <laughs> we, we'll work up to the performance. Uh, the dynamics are very good. Okay, Juliet, did you have a rest? <laughs>
I would like to, this is really the first rehearsal of Balcony Pas de Deux, them dancing together, yeah? So, should we just have some music and see where, where we are? <laughs> okay, very good. Friedemann, where would you like to take it from? From the Manege. Manege, yeah. Le leading into the Pas de Deux, we'll do the Manege of, of Romeo. Yeah, let's let's play just before the menage. You can pick it up there.
first rehearsal. <laughs> okay. you too. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Well, well, thank you. It's absolutely good. Well, I'm, I'm calm because you did have a little stumble because <laughs> I, I was starting to worry. It, it, it's so beautiful, so magical, uh, so fresh and, and so real. And there's John Cranko watching. He created this ballet here in the studio. And, and it's, it's lovely to see chemistry coming together, you know, for the first time. I, ha I have a, a few details that I would like to, but very little to talk about, but it's all there, actually. And um, just things I, I never forget, because I had the great fortune to uh, be here. I, I learned Romeo uh, from Richard Cragen, and of course, he learned it from Ray Barrer. And this, this first moment, is, it, it's a must. The first time you go away and she touches you and you turn to her. And there's a very old black and white video I saw. And I always believed, you know, what Ricky told me, but when I saw Ray do it back in 1960, early 60s, when he just listened to her heartbeat here with one hand, and then she embraced, and then it, so don't take her. It's, it's something very pure ism, I would say. It's a Cranko ism, like we have a Marcia ism. But it was so beautiful, and when I saw that, Ray did that, I was crying, and I taught you that, I know that, but now your, your heart was at 120, so excited, like, embrace. So th there's the buildup of the first, the first timid. It's like Romeo is with all the gypsies, but this is true love, the first time. Listen to her heartbeat. That, that's right. And then the second time is the passion, in that sense. Beautiful. A Marcia Hadeism. It, it, it's, it's not first position, second, but the turn going to almost like whispering. Uh, you, you almost did it. Your, your turn was up here, darling, so I didn't see you. But think of, of it, 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 and this a little bit slow. Don't promenade her too fast because she's still in motion into the promenade. Do you know where we are, Catalina, after the jeté flips? Give yourself two Romeo, a one. That's it. Still a good eye. Okay, thank you. That, that's the idea. That's, that's right. St still a little bit above, but we'll work on that. Yes, see, this is, oh, it speaks so much, this part of the body. Very lovely. Mm. I mean, I, I'm, it's yes, that helps when it's a little bit lower. It helps than the shoulders. Otherwise, it, if it's high, then you mm -hmm. get a little. It's very passionate. You <laughs> want to keep the passion down a little bit there. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. Let's come all together. Thank you very much, everyone out there, for taking the time to watch Stuka Ballet. It's our privilege to be part of World Ballet Day. And right now, we are actually landing in Taiwan, quite jet lagged and looking very <laughs> much forward to our performances. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, Kevin O'Hare. Back to the Royal Ballet. Have a wonderful day of ballet. Yeah. <laughs>